what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns You can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd Every time you give up on me I be calling back like we done made up I just wanna meet whoever made love What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani And you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview And who do we have in the building today? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tusi And you tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview <laughs> Thanks, co-host. So, yes, we're so happy to have you here. Thank What's you that? for stopping by. Welcome back to New York. How has it been so far? What's going on? Tiring. I ain't got no sleep. No? Nah. Straight no. off the plane, working. Straight off the plane to work. So, what brought you to New York this time around? This, you know what I mean? Y'all, talk of the town. You know uh -huh. what I mean? I'm trying to see what the talk of the town be like. All right, well, we about to show you. So, you know, you said on Twitter today, you was like, you can't seem to stay out of New York or something yeah, like right, that. Right, right, what yeah. do you think that's about? Oh, like, my why God, not? you went into the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I just be working. This, this is where a lot of the, you know, um, a lot of the, like, radio stations, a lot of the, you know, uh, I got to make my stops for the interviews mm -hmm. and podcasts mm -hmm. and things of that nature. That, uh, a, lot of, a lot of them come out of New York, so. Of course, of course, because you know that boys don't cry. EP mm. coming out What's in a that? few days, so What's we that? definitely, we definitely looking forward to that. So yeah. there is something that I have to call you out about that you oh. also posted today because you had the audacity to oh, come. Oh, that is trash. You if had you about to, to say eat, anything about the food, I am. It I am because you had the audacity to come here, and that was one of the first things what that you, you said tell me, when you Brooklyn got Shop here. House? <laughs> okay, no, All I right. feel like I would even keep it very traditional. Even the pizza in New York is fire the sandwiches in new york is fire chopped cheese Suck yo y'all best food y'all best food in new york come from um what the the little shits that be on the with the, the stands yeah facts. like the halal cart and stuff yeah facts that's the best food the the best food. see i'm extra disappointed because you're from new york so you should know better than <laughs> upstate <laughs> though in upstate even in upstate though i will lie upstate food trash too i but won't disagree except, except, except for except for if you go to buffalo you know buffalo Wings originated from uh -huh. Buffalo. I'm going to call out all the people you know in New York, your New York friends, your team, and everybody. They're going to put you on. Call, ask all of them. Yo, Fabi, tell come everybody. on. I know you know the spots. They're going to put you Fabi, on the way to eat. Tell, tell everybody that's tell special. Tell er, yo, everybody that's up here my, to my New York homeboys. Uh-huh. Bay, Bay, you know what I mean? Um, King Combs, Justin. Oh, y'all. Y'all are doing him a disservice because there's week. no way. Food trash. That the first place that you Love y'all to death, broski food week. Food trash. Y'all come down south. My grandma from Alabama, too. Like, what? Okay, so if you're making a comparison, That's I feel like it's also food. the low key spot, Collard too. Because you talking cheese. about the, first of all, if you want to get into it, like, I'm not, not to who compare me to your grandma. Tell me who I'm not comparing me to your grandma, who but better? I could fry a mean chicken. I could get down with the collard greens, who the yams, the mac and cheese, and all of that. Tell so me if who you want to get who, technical. I'm saying, oh, tell me who cooked better, though, out of, out, of, out of up north. And I'm from up well, north. Well, I have southern family, so I'm going to always say. We Southern food is the best, right? Yeah, but that don't mean you can't find how it could up you here. Say, how could you say, then how could you say... Tusi, we're going to have to agree food. to disagree because... I'm, I'm cool with this. This is crazy. I'm, so, like Brooklyn Chop said, House fire, though. We'll cook, I don't want them to think I took a shot. Yeah, Southern Brooklyn, Brooklyn Chop, Chop House, House is cool, but that don't even represent New York food. So we it's just Brooklyn we, Chop we gonna, House. By name. Brooklyn It's Asian Chop food, House. but it don't is represent it? New York. Is that what it is? It's an Asian fusion restaurant. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. That's why that chicken was tasting like that. <laughs> it tastes like like Asian. what it tastes like. Tastes like, like it had like a like a like a. Like a it wasn't it wasn't Amer it wasn't American chicken. Oh you get what God. I'm saying? I hear you. Come on, stop, I'll stop playing. Man. Oh my gosh! So we are gonna get into it. So you grew up in New York. I know you moved when you were 13. Let me yeah. know what like growing up in Syracuse was like for you before you made that move. Oh shit, man! I won't lie. When people think of upstate, mm -hmm. like, it's not it's not like what people think. People think of upstate and think of like. People think of Syracuse and think of like the university, or they think like a lot of white people. Mm -hmm. man, that shit ain't like that at all. And so, what is it like? It's like your typical hood, mm -hmm. except for it's it's every single place is a hood. It's <laughs> it's, it's no good parts. It's okay, a hood on every block you turn, you turn left, you turn on this street right here. You might be on you might be on the street that my grandma live on. Then you turn right, and you might and you go up and you go up one street. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got like you got. It's, you know what I mean, you go across. Then you go across, and you might be in the bricks. You 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 go up by the blue star, make a right. You might be you might be on in the bricks, or you mm -hmm. make a left, 
and then make another left, and you might be on Midland and Cove, and and, and and you might be by Kirk Park. Oh, you like, getting into street names and everything. Like, so like outside of the people that's that's up there gonna know. Like, it's, right? You know I mean, it's 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's hoods everywhere. So would you say like outside of like the college town part is like the trenches? As soon as you or step on, like, soon, I'm talking about the um, the PH. Mm-hmm. The PH is called the Pioneer Homes. Pioneer Homes is right. Out like across the street. Yeah, from, big CEO. She you know. know. I mean? mm-hmm. Or you 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 don't been to Syracuse? Yeah, I used to live out there. Facts. So I you. Used to live by the university. So you know. Yeah, you know about yeah you know about the Carmelo Anthony basketball court right across from the PH yeah, and all that. Yeah, 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 man. You know what I mean, like P, the PH, like the the Pioneer Homes, right right across the street mm-hmm. from from Syracuse. You, you know, go back the there? No. Ooh. The hell, hell no. Okay, so what are your thoughts on that? Like when artists, or not even just artists, but when people make it big, how do you? What are your thoughts on like some going people back? could do that? I won't lie, I ain't been home. I ain't been. I gotta ease my way back into that mm-hmm. shit. It's this. It's a lot going on out there. You mm-hmm. Like I, I, that's and that's something that I respect. Mm-hmm. Like I don't give a fuck what you do. You, you gotta respect the streets. Like so, I just that's something I gotta ease my way back into. Like. Right. You know I, mean? I know you were supposed to go back a few times for a like few times, um, but it keep performances getting canceled. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why. That don't got nothing to do with me. They think I keep canceling the show. I ain't nah, kidding. that's crazy. That's I, crazy. I don't got no reason to cancel the show. Mm-hmm. So, like, going back to just like you, you being raised in Syracuse. I know that you were raised by your mom. I believe, yeah. if I'm yeah. not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. She raised you in a single parent yeah. household. Yeah, like half of my life. Shout out to my dad. He because he did play a role. Okay, yeah, shout out to your dad. How was how was life like growing up with your mom, your siblings? It was cool. Yeah, I mean, she it showed me it showed me you know um you know how to how to treat a woman and mm-hmm. um and then on top of that just you know how how hard working a woman could be. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom was real hard working, so that was something that played a role in everything. Yeah, you speak very highly of her. Like I, uh, that's super. You woman. speak very highly of her, which I think is very commendable. Like, yeah. what are some things that I know you just spoke on a couple, but like some things that she's instilled in you yeah. growing up that you still like practice to this day. Mm, yeah. I was gonna say one thing, but they're gonna bash me. What? Nah. Um, I don't know. Just when when it comes to my mom, my mom don't taught me so much. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, um, self awareness. Um, on top of self awareness, accountability, things of that nature. I say accountability. Like, you know, my mom always, always been a real, uh, take action for you know the mm-hmm. things that she she fought in and things like that. So yeah, accountability. Mm-hmm. And you said that she showed you what like a hard working woman is. So do you feel like that shaped kind of what your expectations of women are? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that, Mom Duke's always going to do that though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, as a as a man, your mom always going to being raised by your mom. That's always what you're going to be expect to see out of your wife. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Curious. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on the whole like car situation? Like you have your wife yeah. and your mom in the car. Who gets the front seat? What's what are your thoughts on that? Your wife. I'm curious to know what you your think. Wi- about your wife and your mom in the car. Yeah. So basically, it's like you in a car, you driving. Yeah. You have your wife and your mother coming in the car. Who takes the front seat and who sits in the back? I get in the back seat. What uh, if they both can't drive? Nah, both of them can't drive. That's crazy. I don't lie. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm more of a passenger rider though. Like okay, so you don't be driving. I be driving. I drive a lot of places, but I'm more of a passenger rider. I don't mm-hmm. lie, cause you know what I mean? okay. I'm I'm the one that's gonna watch all the mirrors and make sure we, you know what I mean, make sure we straight. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, but if it's my mom and my wife, my mom probably gonna get in the back seat though. Mm-hmm. My wife, you know what I mean, your wife come like the Bible said that your wife come before anything. Mm-hmm. You heard? So my mom probably gonna get in the back seat. She know what's up. Okay, shout mm-hmm. out to mom. Yeah. So you described yourself a couple times um, in your interviews as like an Arnold Palm- Palmer. You said like you're in New York and yeah. you're Raleigh. So I'm interested to know like what parts of you are New York? What parts of you my are attitude, Raleigh? My attitude, my attitude still still New York. Um, but my res- the respect I give kind of still like Southern. Mm-hmm. You know, um, That's Southern hospitality. I got Southern hospitality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got Southern hospitality, but you know what I mean. You, you fuck with me, you want to see a different side of me. Did you? Did that shock you when you moved out there? The Southern hospitality, yeah, I won't like lie, how I, won't lie. I went, to, I went to school and um, a teacher like I had got like in trouble for not saying yes, ma'am, or something like that. <laughs> 
I was like, yo, bro, like, I ain't from here. What the fuck is you? We barely even say yes. We be like, yeah. I was violating. I was mad. My mom came to the school bugging, though. She on you or on the teacher? Nah, at, 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 on the teacher. Oh, okay. Like, I was about to say you that. Not, you don't have to say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. Yeah. It's just respectful. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's Southern hospitality, but. Right. Yeah, like, I had just moved up there, and, like, I ain't say yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, or something like that, and, and the teacher bugged out. I'm, man, what? My mom wasn't having that. So, the real question is, did you stand on that, or did you eventually start saying it? Nah, I don't lie, though. I respect my elders, but I bugged out that time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't lie, though. I wild, I wild out. I, mean, you know, I wild out. Uh-huh. I ain't never just violate no teacher crazy, though. As you shouldn't. Yeah, nah, I ain't never just do that. As you shouldn't. Nah, I now, mean, though? <laughs> Now lie. what? Now I'm grown. I won't lie. I don't for who who you is. Oh, okay. I mean, respect yeah. is earned, not automatically given. Sometimes, yeah. So. Facts, yeah. Earn when you hit when you turn twenty one. When yeah. you turn twenty one, I definitely 18, agree with 21, that. Eighteen, twenty one, and you hit this shit on your own. You disrespect me. I'm gonna disrespect you. So how would you describe yourself? I'm so interested. Like, how would you describe yourself as a student and as like a kid? Because you were thirteen. As a student, um, as a student, I was I was smart. I was real smart. I mm-hmm. just. I used to keep it myself though. Um, I was popular. I was the dude that everybody knew. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really no class clown. You were popular based on personality or because you were already tapping based into on personality. Like, okay. Yeah, based on personality. I was just known for, and I was, and I was already famous, like semi-famous. I had a buzz. I was famous in my city. So talk to me about that. When did that start? How did the buzz get started? Yo, I won't lie, I used to be doing all, I used to be doing dub smashes and all types oh of shit God, like that. I used to be having. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. I used to be doing dub smashes and fucking um I don't know. I used to be dancing and shit like the little like the little little niggas that be doing it, hit the folks and all that. Uh huh. Were that. you on like musically before it was TikTok? I think so. Yeah, because that was so. like a big thing too. Wait. Soon. Shut up. Ain't no way. You didn't know that? Yeah, musically it was before TikTok. Yeah, it was it's the same app. Yeah, that's literally how it went. It it's was not mine. the same app, though. It's the same app. No, no, it is the same app. And I'll tell you why. Because my Musical.ly account, when I look it up on TikTok, it's there. I just don't know my password. It's the same app, bro. You lying. Look it up. I'm telling you, my, my old account is still there. All my old videos and everything. Musical.ly. Musical.ly. Yo, that's it's ca- I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I'm, I'm look more it up surprised I... that you didn't know that. Why would I know that? <laughs> because they, maybe they you switched had the enough. whole name on us. They switched the yeah, but like the accounts is still the same. The the premise of I the can't app find that. I don't want to find that. I don't, <laughs> I don't want what kind of stuff you was posting. I, kind of I, I was dancing. I ain't no dancer. No you more. Would, what's the dancer always a dancer? I feel like you could bust a couple moves. Man, no, I lost everything. And you know what? It's even crazier because now I'm about to. Put the conversation we just had what? in front of the camera. How dare you judge so people for world, dancing please. in the club? He was saying, "I never." He, d- I just said, if a pretty girl that's across the room mm-hmm. that I look at start dugging <laughs> in the middle of me looking at her, I'm going to look at her different. Why is you? But dugging? why is the different negative? I feel like if you're going to look at her different, dugging? it should be like, oh, she got. Why moves. is you dugging? Why is you dugging? Because the song is lit, and I want to hit my dugie. And you want to dugie. <laughs> Yeah. To me, that or give. Or what, him like me, the two step? But as a former dancer. You, your your friend said she was going to start jerking. <laughs> and I told you how I felt about that. So I you told tell me y'all how I felt about you got that. On, what, how, what, what would the inch on them heels be? What the inch on the heels? It don't matter be? if it was Y'all got six, on like six, six inch, inch heels. Yo, she started I, jerking in six inch heels. I personally feel like that's talent. If you can jerk in six inch If she inch take heels, them off. I feel if she take them if off. If she take them off and she start jerking, I'm going to look at her even more weird because you just went out your <laughs> way to take your shoes off. And wow. I understand that. Nah. See, I'm with you on that Dougie one. Dougie crazy still. I don't care. So, but does that go Shake a little day? butt. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shake a little butt. Shake a little butt. Shake but little everybody butt. can, I feel like it take more skill to do a little choreo. It take more skill to shake that little butt, man. Damn. Yeah. Well, don't go Dougie in the club and Tusi around, For y'all. Real. Nah, don't Sheesh. go Dougie in. <laughs> don't do that one. I will lie. It's 2022. Crowd. And so how look. you feel about like the TikTok dances? Because listen. I'm a, I'm a TikTok dancer. Did okay. you see, have you seen me? Hold, but my whole no, listen, because you didn't let me finish. The TikTok dances, you know how they play a song in a club. Yeah. And people will do the dances in the club. Bro, if I catch you doing that, well, I can't step. Move side to the right. I don't like, uh, nah, that's cool. 
You don't think that that's contradictory? Nah, no? that's cool because like when I think of that, I think of like, okay, like we in a club, she don't got our heels. If that if if she's doing that dance, she don't got our heels. If you try to do that dance in some heels, that's talent. You have no. They Shout don't out even to you. have. What? Ah, right, you my skittles. Okay, so what do you think about um the? Y'all up- don't do that shit, man. Go ahead. My there fault. you I'm go. Sorry. What do you think about the upcoming music scene in New York? Like, you have anybody in New York that you fucking with? Free K Flock, man. Period. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. Free K Flock. I fuck with Ice Spice. Yeah, because I was going to say, you brought her out. Yeah. And she said that that was the first show that she got brought out um, for. Yeah. So that's real dope. What was that? Like, she what fired. made you? Man, I'll stay in soon. What, what made I you be bring knowing, her out of I'll be knowing people going to blow up before they even blow up. Okay, I done so see, I done seen this shit. So first, I'm gonna ask you what I made knew you know that Wick was gonna blow up. I knew Ice Spice was gonna blow up. Okay, so what is it that what is it about an artist that, that tells look. you you gotta have you gotta have that stardom, right? You could look at some motherfuckers and be like, "Damn, that's not no regular person." You ever look at a, you ever like speak to somebody and be like, "What's your name?" Mm-hmm. Like, because you feel like they somebody. Because you feel like they somebody. Mm-hmm. Like, so you look at Ice Spice. Light skin, real light girl with the with the crazy red hair. It's like, yo, you look like you supposed to be do doing something. You know what I mean, she got a nice figure and all that. Mm-hmm. You look like you supposed to be doing something. I don't know what it is you supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. It might not. It might not ha- had even been music. Hmm. You just look but like you supposed to be doing. Uh, she has a even, look that even, we don't see even often. even to the even to the to the flow millies and the. You know what I mean? Because I don't want them to think it's just a light, yeah, a light yeah, skin yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It ain't no light skin thing. Mm-hmm. Like, so you, you look at a, even so. Dochi. Like, you look at people like that and mm-hmm. be like, damn, it's something about you. Mm-hmm. Like, I seen Do- Dochi going to be big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she her, she her own person. Bitch, I'm nice. You know what I mean? Shout out to Dochi. So, speaking of Dochi and, you know, coming from somebody who was in this position last year, what were your thoughts on the freshman list? Did anybody crazy. surprise you or were, were I don't, know, I don't think nobody surprised me. Okay. You was in tune with Who was on the really? list this year? I seen Dochi. Who else was on the list? No, ain't no. Nobody, ain't nobody surprised me. No. Nah. It no, was a couple people. That's there. a good list. So how did you feel being on the list last year? Shit, it, was a, it was a milestone. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, shit like that, it's a, it's a step towards, you know, mm-hmm. the next the next shit we try and do. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So Did you feel like it was something that helped push you in the right direction? Nah. No. I feel like it motivated me, but at the end of the day, like double XL is just double XL is an award. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You're getting awarded for being one of the hottest artists of the year. Mm-hmm. So it's more so an award. It ain't like no, hey, um, you get double XL and this is gonna happen after you get double XL. Mm-hmm. Right, nah. Like, like I see that and I think okay maybe more people are like gonna be tapped in. You don't more. just get double XL and you got to stop working because you now you done made. No, XL. I know that, but I didn't know if maybe like your audience grew or more people were tapping into your music. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely it definitely helped because double double XL got its own fan base. So right, so that's what I meant when I was yeah. saying that. Okay, cool. So who would you say like gave you your first like big shot? Uh, as dirt. you were coming up, dirt. Yeah, little dirt. So talk to us about that. Yeah, what was that like? Lil Dirk had brought me out of the show. Mm-hmm. And um, in Durham, North Carolina, I had a song called Red Lights Out. And he brought me out of the show. Um, and shit, like, I performed the song in front of, like, 5,000 people. For the and first time. For the first time, and they were singing it word for word. You know what I mean? And ever since then, I was, like, 18 years old. Ever since then, like, mm-hmm. me and Dirk just been tapped in. What was that feeling like? Like, walking out on stage the first time you really being like, brought out? Yeah. I was like, damn, I, they, everybody know this song? You like performing? Hell yeah, I love that shit. What's your favorite part about it? Seeing people. Right, seeing the reactions, seeing people singing the songs. Um, mm-hmm. You got girls in the stands fucking crying. Yeah, we went to... Bras um being thrown. That's exactly what I was about to say. We went to see you at um, Webster Hall. Somebody threw their bra? Yes. <laughs> Did I catch it? It was like, yeah, somebody threw their phone, too. Like, they was really going crazy. Pretty girls love Tusi. What's the craziest, like, fan interaction that you've had? If any. 
Oh, man, I had a girl pass out at a show, pass out, like fake pass out so she could get on stage. Yeah, shit was crazy. She passed, she like fake passed out. So if you know me, motherfucker, pass out on stage, pass out. Like, we got to stop the whole show. See, okay, was this like following the whole like Travis Scott thing? Yes. Was this, okay. Yeah. She, she passed out in the crowd. Like, Whoa, stop the music. <laughs> Tell my security, pull her up, pull her up on stage, but like get her, take her to the back. <laughs> she motherfucking we fine. lift her up start walking her to the back across the stage she uh uh-uh, uh not turn it up <laughs> she get the turn she get the turning up I say damn she broke character man I bust out laughing I couldn't even do nothing oh my god so what would you say has been like the most memorable moment for you like as you're coming up I think my most memorable Memorable moment, probably gonna be this Rod Wave tour. Mm-hmm. Yes, Rod Wave, yeah. Mariah, the scientist. Yeah. I love them both. How did how did that come about? Um, honestly, I don't know. We got the same booking agent. Mm. Um, so being that we got the same booking agent, it's, it's kind of like you know. And then um, me and Rod kind of got the same fan base. Mm-hmm. Um, he just got a, a bigger fan base than me. Mm-hmm. Uh. So it was like, I don't know, it was, it was, it was, it was something that was kind of like, you know, meant to happen. The fans kept asking for us, us to do a song mm-hmm. and instead of like, you know, just going ahead and doing a song, he was going on tour. My booking agent, um, called me, was like, yo, uh, your name been being brought up. Um, your name been being brought up on this, on this Rod Wave tour. You know, Rod, Rod wants you to come on tour with him. Mm-hmm. Like shit, let's do it. That's that's the biggest. I think that's dope because yeah. we gonna shout be out, in our Shout out bag. to him. Shout out to him. I mean, I think with him, like as an artist, he he's he's like he 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 like the epitome of making it out the bottom. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, um, I seen what he came from, uh, like, and not from not from knowing him before. Um, just watching his success story, mm-hmm. watching interviews, watching, you know, certain stuff. Cause like after he, he tapped into me, I kind of like tapped into him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my girlfriend loved his music too. So that was kind of like, and you can feel that like, he literally has been through what he talks about. Like you feel yeah, um, the desire, you feel the passion yeah, for the like music. He, 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 and he, in his, he, he kind of in his own world. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like we, mm-hmm. we got the same fan base, but he, he make a different style of music. Like, so how would you consider your style of music? So with him, he make ghetto gospel with me. Um, like, and it's, I don't know. I don't really don't know no other artists that make ghetto gospel. Like, no, like that's, he, in his own world, like it's, it's yeah, mm-hmm. like he in his own world. Um, it's kind of the same, but I consider my music to be like a. I don't know, like it, my my music be trap soul. You get what I'm saying, like some Bryson Tiller shit. Yeah, like that's all it is. It's trap soul. Mm-hmm. So, who would you say influenced your sound? Um. Honestly, I listen to pop music if I do listen to music. So I say like the the Ed Sheerans, the oh uh, wow, yeah, the Ed Sheerans, mm-hmm. the Jason Mraz, is the Billy Eilishes, mm-hmm. um, stuff like that. Okay, so you signed to South Coast Music Group. Yeah. What made you sign to an independent label? Um, you know, before I before I got in these shoes where I'm at today, I I uh, I felt like the right thing to do was just. You know, before we walk into a major, do something independently, mm. build build mm. everything the way I, I needed to get it to, and then walk into a major deal. Mm-hmm. So it was just like a strategy thing. Um, okay. And I, I remember hearing you talk about that and you being signed to the same label as the baby. Yeah. And once he started kind of getting blackballed, so yeah. they say, you know, you started feeling that in your music too. Yeah. How would you like? Can you explain that? Honestly, I don't feel like it affected my music. Um, it didn't affect my music. Or the way it was it received. Just, well, it, it it affected the relationships that my mm. that my CEO got. Okay. Yeah, it ain't it ain't really affect my music because I'm I'm gonna be my own artist. But you know, mm-hmm. um, you know that's that's my CEO got his relationships. Mm-hmm. But then you know it's like a lot of relationships they they built together. Right. Um, and, you know, when when he started going through what he was going through, it's like you got people looking at the whole label sideways. But mm-hmm. man, you can't stop greatness. What do you? What are your thoughts on being blackballed though? Like, what 
do you do you really think that there's such thing as being blackballed? I don't, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think it's really a matter of being blackballed. Mm-hmm. I think. I don't think it's a matter of being blackballed. I think it's like really some follow the leader shit, like. Like, one person stop fucking with you, everybody stop. Yeah, like, it's some follow the leadership, for real, for real. Like, I mean, and, 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 and in this world right we live in right now, we really can't control it. It's it's, it's, it's with the media mm-hmm. and to, you know, the whole cancel culture and things like that. Like, it's it's a thing now. So, you know I mean, you just got to go with what, 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 what the industry is flowing with. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if the fans or if it don't even be motherfuckers that's fans of you canceling you, it be... Motherfuckers who don't like you canceling you, and then outside of the motherfuckers that don't like you canceling you, it make the motherfuckers. It's like hypnotizing the motherfuckers who do like you to think that they don't fuck with you no more. When in That's reality, I, it, it all it is is a hater being a hater, and and certain motherfuckers be getting tricked out of that position of thinking, hey, damn, the fans don't like this nigga no more, and I'm a fan, so now I don't gotta like this nigga no more. Like, it's just a matter of So you think people just operate from a mind outside of their own? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't think on their own, Mm -hmm. you know, and that's all right. So in a situation like that, of course, you can't control, you know, how people receive you and how they choose to, if they choose to fuck with you or not. Yeah. But in certain cases, you can choose what you're putting out. And, of course, I got to call you out because you had all of us concerned. Because we was tuned in, we wanted to listen, and you just said, fuck this shit, I'm out. I won't lie. I'm bipolar, though. So, oh. I, you know what I mean? That shit don't... Like, with me, though, it was like... I was probably mad for, like, an hour. I won't lie. It so, it's so crazy, though, like, because the world flipped it and made it seem as if, like... um, The world flipped it and made it seem as if I said that it was the fans for, for whatever had happened. Yes. I never said that it was the fans' fault. Um, okay, so do you want to set the record? I completely agree, and I actually yeah. wanted to talk to you about that. Do you want to set that. the record straight about that? What you meant? I mean, I feel so. I feel like I feel like with that, with, with all it was was you know, um, it's a time and a place for everything. Um, and on top of it being a time and a place for everything, like a lot of shit just don't need to be said, you know. So uh, I'm young still, and I make mistakes. Mm-hmm. Um, and what I said was kind of like invasive and it was wrong. Um, it was disrespectful to what I got going on, mm-hmm. but I feel like, you know, shouldn't nobody else, shouldn't nobody else feel no way about that. Cause at the end of the day, that's what I got going on. Yeah. And you know what? I agree. And I feel but at the like end of the day, as a fan though, you know what I mean? I, I would get, I would get their concerns. My fault to cut you off. I would get their concerns. So I feel like um when I had made the message of saying like, you know, uh fuck the fame. I wish I never I wish I never, you know, started rapping for people, blah blah blah, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. You know I mean I come from a personal a personal lifestyle of, you know, sitting in the closet and writing my music and never letting nobody hear. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um and it just feel like, you know, ever since I started releasing music and making music, uh it, it became invasive. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody you wanna be in your business, everybody wanna know what's going on, everybody got an input on what you do and it, it just it just kind of became a lot so mm-hmm. you know i mean i had got into that moment of damn like fuck this shit and that's what i took from what you were saying i yeah. really didn't think that it was more so yeah, blaming I never the said, front yeah, I never blaming said, damn, the, fans. the fans how the fuck and and it wasn't like damn how the fuck it wasn't like damn the fans done got me caught it was like yo like first off the fan i i went on the internet and told people yeah to me, watching yeah. it, it felt like you were more so saying, like, you didn't want to have certain things put out on the media because you didn't want people idolizing I what you had going on people, because yeah. everybody isn't perfect. Most and what you have going on in your personal life shouldn't affect yeah. your, the music that you're making. Yeah, it was it was a simple fact that, you know, no matter no matter what it might look like that I put out, we're not perfect. And that's all it was. Mm-hmm. But... The world ain't have to. I could have did a, that a different way. The world ain't have to know. That's all it was. Yeah, and I, you know what? I commend but you for acknowledging that. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, at the end of the day, when you're wrong, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, but but being making a mistake don't make you who you is. Like, you mm-hmm. heard? And I'm constantly repeating some shit. All right, cool. But making making a mistake don't make you who you is. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So how do you feel about that? Now you're in it. We're in an age where everybody kind of is expecting for you to post pieces of your personal life on yeah. social media. So how do you separate the personal life from your artistry? 
I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. And when I do figure it out, you know, I do it. But I don't think I ever figure it out. I feel like it's always going to be a part where a point in my life where they want to be invasive in. And I feel like it's always going to be mm-hmm. um, a story to be told. You know okay. I mean? Story sell. You know what I mean? It's story sell. We, we, don't, we don't live in a world where, no more where TMZ is major. We live in a world where the, where everybody's TMZ. Mm-hmm. Where, mm-hmm. So. That's a fact. So we, okay, we're going to lighten the mood a little bit. Boys yeah. Don't Cry coming out soon. Well, I know you have a song already out, Love Is. I want to play a quick What's little up? game with you just to see where your head is at. All right, come on. So the way we about to do this is I'm going to start off by saying something. Yeah, hey, I go with the game. Like, <laughs> we love the games on the talk of the town right, side. So go. I'm going to start off by saying love is or, you know, something else. And you have to finish it. But you got to do it quick. Okay? All right, cool. Come you on. ready? God damn. All right, come All on. right, come on. Love is. Weird. Music is. Special. Blogs are. Crazy. I feel my best when. I make music. My favorite project is Platinum Heart. When I feel sad, I make music. My favorite word is dumb. I hate when people act dumb. <laughs> Social media is dumb. <laughs> Relationships are weird. My fans are lovely. My favorite memory is when I ask my girlfriend to be my girlfriend. Oh. The best artist ever is Tusi, duh. My family is special. My dream is for me to get a Grammy. And Boys Don't Cry is going to be the best project that you ever fucking heard because every other project fucking, nah, I'm playing. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> talk your shit. Nah, uh-huh. sure. Boys Don't Cry is going to be, you said, the best one, one project of the, one ever. Of the best, one of the best projects, one of the best EPs this year. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I like that you've been putting out some snippets. I like that we already have a visual. Like, yeah, you sure. you doing your thing. So I have a lot I of faith. Lie, we got something special coming too the, the, the day of the release. Um, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, we're going to do a big live performance. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be a big live performance. Well, this will be out by then, so the live yeah. performance. Uh, well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I know you said Butterfly was your favorite song yeah, on the EP. I don't know. I think, I think people are going to like the date night record, too. Though. That's what I, I literally was yeah. going to say. that. That's my favorite one so far, because when I saw you post that little yeah, snippet, yeah. I said, oh. Yeah, it's like, it's like a little little, little, it's like a little yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but now nah, the Butterfly record my favorite one, though. Uh-huh. Yeah. And why is that? Because um, now, by the, the time way, people see this, they're going to be able to hear the it. Way, so. The way it just come in, like, you know what I mean? The first, the first it comes straight in to, mm-hmm. to the verse. You know what I mean, and the first the first thing it says is uh, treat her like a lady, but I fuck her like a hoe. You know what mm. I mean? You know what I mean, I feel like that's gonna <laughs> 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 I feel like that's gonna hit home, man. So, uh huh. Yeah. So what's the difference between the boys old cry two C that we about to see on this EP and like the why not now twenty seventeen? Man, why not now? I don't know. Why not now it was crazy. Cause why that's not, there's, a, there's been a five now, year difference. Why not now I was just making music. Um Boys don't cry. It got it got a little bit more meaning to it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. Well, we're definitely looking forward to what I know you gotta go. So I'm not gonna keep it for too long. Okay. But before you do go, are there any like words of advice or things that you would like to tell people who may look up to you? Yeah. Man, um, stay consistent. Um, only God could judge you. And at the end of the day, like, man, people gonna talk. Um, yo, listen. I live off hate. Mm-hmm. You heard I live off hate. I, every day I wake up, what keep me going is knowing that some, it's somebody out there who think I ain't shit or think I ain't going to be shit. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, it comes that. with the territory, though. Man, listen, I'm talking about, you You know those things in the high, the, uh, the high school yearbooks where it be like... Like um, the superlatives, like most likely to. Most likely to, mm-hmm. yeah. Like my most likely was most likely to become something people thought they wouldn't. Like, mm. that was my most likely. Oh, wow. Look where a nigga ain't nobody never. Like, this shit is a. my. So, when I started a label, I got a company right now called Plot Twist. Mm-hmm. Like, my whole lifestyle of Plot Twist. Ain't nobody expect this shit to be what it is. You heard? See, I don't even know if we have time for it, but I want to get into that real yeah. quick. Wait, so, talk to us about Plot Twist. What is, what's that about? Plot Twist is just like a Plot Twist. Like, you ain't, like, you know what I mean? It's you, like it's like the whole story change. How you gonna use the word in the definition? I'm asking you a about what you said. You got a you got a brand. You said like what that's you, just what you wanted to be. 
What do I want it to be? What did you want to be when you grew up? I done switched through so many different careers, The plot done honestly. twisted so many times. I see what you did there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, pl- I started off playing sports. I started off rap. I mean, not yeah, rap. No, I you started playing like football. Or football, baseball, basketball. I started doing all of that. Mm. Ain't nobody. You couldn't, couldn't nobody six years ago look and tell me Tusi going to be a famous rapper or not even that. Seven, ten years ago. Mm-hmm. Couldn't nobody look and tell me, like, this nigga gonna be a famous rapper. Mm. Couldn't nobody say that shit. I'm from a small town where where ain't nobody ever made it. Name a rapper from Syracuse, New York right now. Listen, don't put me, even if you didn't put me on the spot, I would That's what I'm saying. You can't name one because we, we don't got one. Mm-hmm. Only rapper from Syracuse, New York is Post Malone, and motherfuckers don't even know that he from there. Yeah, he he moved when that. he was a baby. Mm. That's T, yeah, because I wouldn't have known that. Even so, out of Raleigh, North Carolina, we never really had no... PD not PD Pablo not from Raleigh is he? Based in Raleigh from Greenville, so that mm-hmm. was the closest thing we ever had. Like so. So you think I, things are like? Sorry, I, I don't want to cut you off. Now nah, you good? Nah. Do you think things are like written in the stars, or do you feel like you just gotta change Man, through different things to get to ultimately where you're supposed to go? I don't know about nothing else. My story writ though. This shit up. I ain't know what you can't. Can't nobody stop my story. This shit writ. Like, if if the world really could see what I I know what's about to happen, mm-hmm. motherfuckers when he motherfuckers would think twice before they treat a nigga how they treat a nigga. And that passion in your story is the reason why you can't pull no shit like that again. Don't no, tell no, us no. that you're not making no more nah, music and all of that. Don't do that. You. Cause you had a shook. Like nah, he's not serious you. right whatever, now. Whatever I said, it was a publicity stunt. No, nah, I wasn't though. I was, I was dead ass going through. Cause you shit. don't, you don't, you don't give me. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was, I was dead. Ass, hell no, nah, I don't need no fuck. Yeah, don't you don't need give that me shit. I was dead ass going through something. I was hurting. Fuck, I was hurting for my motherfucking feelings. I'm sure, but so, hurt. so were but we. I, was, I, don't, I don't be hurting for long. My motherfucking feelings was hurt for like an hour, and I was like, yo, who the fuck is they talking to? Mm-hmm. Like, not the fans, but the other people. I was like, who the fuck is they talking? Y'all don't know me or the fuck. Well, I know you gotta go. Boys on Car coming out soon. Looking yeah. forward to hearing it. Anything else that you want to say? Any last words? Nothing, man. Just stay consistent. You know what I mean? Boys don't cry out now. Uh, and to the fans, I love y'all. Y'all could be whatever y'all want in life. You know? Look at her. Thank you for stopping by. It was so oh, good God. to have you.